Vitamin D is an essential nutrient, but did you know that an estimated one billion people around the world, including over two thirds of Americans, don't have enough of it? It may surprise you to learn that vitamin D is actually a hormone. It plays an important role in building bones. A deficiency of vitamin D in adults can lead to thin, brittle bones, a condition called osteoporosis. Vitamin D has been in the news a lot lately. That's because we've learned its effects extend far beyond bones. Tissues throughout the body respond to it. Vitamin D is a powerful anti-inflammatory, so it's thought to play an important role in immune health. Research has suggested that vitamin D deficiency may raise the risk of developing heart disease and certain cancers, especially colon cancer. Although many people with vitamin D deficiency have no symptoms, some may develop muscle aches, bone pain, chronic pain, and fatigue syndromes, and even depression. How do you know if your vitamin D levels are healthy? Ask your doctor to order a blood test to check. A level between 20 to 30 nanograms per milliliter indicates a vitamin D insufficiency, while less than 20 indicates a deficiency. Need more vitamin D? Here's how it works. Vitamin D is found in certain foods, and when exposed to the sun, our bodies can normally make enough of it. That's why vitamin D is often called the sunshine vitamin. When sunlight hits our body, the UVB rays from the sun trigger a reaction in the skin that converts cholesterol into an inactive form of vitamin D. This form transported to the liver and kidneys where it's converted to an active vitamin D hormone. Sounds easy to get, right? So then why do most of us not have enough? There's a lot of reasons. Some people, such as those with darker skin tones, those who are overweight or older, just don't make enough vitamin D from the sun. We've been yelled at to use sunscreen and cover up in the sun, which blocks those UV rays. Or many of us just don't go out in the sun at all. And that's good advice for preventing skin cancer and premature aging. Sun dilemmas aside, there are only a couple of foods that naturally contain vitamin D. Fatty fish like salmon, trout, tuna, and sardines are good choices. Our biggest dietary sources include foods that are fortified with vitamin D, like milk and breakfast cereals. Okay, so how much vitamin D should we be getting? Currently, the Institute of Medicine recommends that adults get from 200 to 600 IUs, or international units of vitamin D a day. But the latest research shows just how important vitamin D is, and that 200 to 600 units may not be enough. Many experts agree adults need at least 800 to 2,000 units a day. To put this in perspective, generally speaking, about five to 10 minutes in strong rays with arms and legs exposed make about 3,000 units. For many people, taking a supplement is the best way to get enough vitamin D. If your doctor or nutritionist determines you need a supplement, look for one that contains vitamin D3 instead of vitamin D2, because D3 is three to four times as potent as D2. But beware, you can take too much vitamin D, so don't overdo a good thing. Talk to your doctor about how much you should take to get and keep your levels in normal range. The bottom line, be sure to get your daily dose of D from the sun, from food, or from a supplement. It's absolutely essential to your health.